Hi, T3. How you doing? I hope everything's going well in South Korea. Everything's going well in trump America, all things considered. I just read myself a new book recently. A really fantastic one I think you would like. It's called What Doesn't Kill Us by Scott Carney. And that's all about Wim Hof, AKA the Iceman. If anybody out there is unfamiliar with him, I'll leave a link below, but he's really fantastic. It's all about Scott Carney studying Wim Hof and the Wim Hof method and the many, many similar strengthening ourselves by getting back in touch with our primitive roots movements out there. Whether it be by taking a walk half naked up some mountain somewhere or by running through one of the most insane Insane obstacle courses imaginable. The funny, funny thing is, T3, people are paying good money for this. People are paying good money to suffer and suffer and hang out with some crazy Dutchman over in Poland where they spend the entire week constantly freezing and learning breathing exercises and eventually climbing this eight mile hike up a Polish mountain in nothing but shorts and boots in winter. Insane, right? But even more insane, Wim Hof seems to be able to train just about anybody to do this. In less than a week, he can train just about anybody to climb this mountain in their frickin' shorts. In less than one week, Wim Hof can teach just about anybody to unleash all sorts of inner strengths and healing powers none of us knew we ever had. And if this all sounds like bullshit to you, well, that's funny because that is exactly how it sounded to the writer of this book, Scott Carney, in the first place. Because the only reason why he signed up for Wim Hof's one-week seminar in the first place was to disprove him, to show the entire world that he's a charlatan, but he's not. Get this, even the magical god of science that everybody bows down to and worships these days. All hail the mighty science. Praise science. Science will solve all our problems. Even science says this guy's legit. Science has shown Wim Hof's many, many cold conditioning and breathing and meditating techniques can actually help to alleviate the symptoms of just about anything. Just about anything from depression to even in some cases diabetes and arthritis and Crohn's disease. Thus helping to keep us all happier and stronger and healthier. But personally, the part I like best of all is it don't cost me a thing. It don't cost me one cent to go out there in the winter and just go lie down the snow. It's completely free. Take that, pharmaceuticals. Fuck you. It's free. It's totally free, and it's good for you. I've been doing it for two weeks myself now, and I love it. I fucking love it. And I literally compare it to when I first started drinking alcohol. Really embarrassing to say, but one of the biggest loves of my life is the sauce. Justin M. Bailey is all about the three B's in life. Books, video games, and books. <laughs> the three B's. Uh-huh. It's just like whiskey. First time you've ever had whiskey, you're just like, oh my God, am I really gonna do this? And you feel this level of apprehension and fear and doubt and, oh God, it's, oh, oh, oh God, oh, oh, oh. And that's the reaction you're gonna have when you first lie down in the snow. Same thing, oh, oh. And then you're gonna, but then, but then you're gonna come back inside and then you're gonna be like, wow. I feel so great. Give me another. And then of course, like with shots, you, you know, you do it every day. Your tolerance is gonna go through the roof and you're gonna love it. You're going to fucking love it. So give it a try. Seriously, T3, this Wim Hof guy works miracles. And I also think that's exactly why Scott Carney was the guy to investigate him and write this book. Because clearly if Scott Carney is anything, he is very much a doubting Thomas. He is definitely one of Wim Hof's greatest uh, champions and advocates, but he is clearly also one of his sharpest critics. Critics? Critics. He's also one of his sharpest critics, which is very important with something as miraculous as this because it doesn't matter how Miraculous someone or something seems no matter how much you love it You still need to be extremely critical of it to see if it holds up You still have to put it and the man to the test over and over again And that is exactly what Scott Carney did for almost five years of his life Scott Carney spent five years of his life adventuring with Wim Hof and military scientists and some of the world's greatest surfers and professional obstacle course runners and just about everybody and anybody promoting or experimenting similar methods like Wim Hof. And also while doing all this, Scott Carney was also practicing the Wim Hof method just about every day, just about. Even he admits he'd take big breaks here and there, but for the most part for five years, he did it. This book is a damn good read, T3. <coughs> 
Because just like I've been saying to you for a while, just what I've been saying for a very, very long time now, even well before I ever saw my dinner with Andre, is we are too damn comfortable for our own damn good. We're much too comfortable. And clearly one of the points this book makes is, we're not built to be so constantly comfortable all the time. Our bodies are not built to be in this constant perpetual state of summer. We are all built to challenge ourselves and be put through challenges. And most of us avoid this like the plague. In some ways, I really find this movement, and of course my dinner with Andre, to be a call to arms. In the sense that we are all getting fatter, lazier, and dumber by the year. We are all slowly atrophying. We need to do something. We need to shake things up. We need to go out there and challenge ourselves and get in the snow. Because it's like, like I, I love the modern times we live in. And a really great point Scott Carney also makes is he loves the modern times we live in. He live, he, he loves the modern times we live in too. We have to worry about global warming and all that. But, you know, it is a very fantastic time to live in. But we can't let all our spoils spoil ourselves. I guess the best way to put it is when he and Wim Hof were arguing it out over something. You know, Wim Hof said something like, a rabbit doesn't have to go to the hospital, he doesn't have to see a psychotherapist and all that, which is true. And then Scott Carney retorted back, yeah, but <laughs> rabbits have to worry about wolves and everything. But then Wim Hof retorted back successfully, we're not getting eaten by wolves or saber-toothed tigers, but we are getting eaten alive by heart attacks and cancer and diabetes. And they didn't say this in the book, but you know, at least with a saber-toothed tiger, it's quick, you know, I mean, ah! but that it's gone and done and over with, you know? So, you know, none of us want to get eaten alive. We don't want to get, I don't want to get eaten alive by cancer or heart disease or diabetes too. Diabetes. And his method actually helps to fight these things off and it's free. So finally, in conclusion, it's just, it's a wonderful book and I recommend everybody read it. I recommend everybody give it a try. Go outside in your shorts. Give the neighbors something to talk about. And I also think this is all very fitting because as you know T3 and everybody else, very soon I'm gonna be bringing out a video about Cody Lundin, about Cody Lundin's book, 98.6 Degrees, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive. And I think it's very fitting because these two books and the two ideas behind them very much go hand in hand. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video, especially you. Dear T3, and... Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> By the way, how's the lighting and the green screen going? I'm still kind of learning this stuff. Good? Great. I don't know. I can't go. I don't know. I, there goes my train of thought. All right. Read it. It's a good book. Bye, everybody.